Hey guys, how's it going? I hope it's fantastic. Hope everything's just super great. I uh, hope you guys all had a wonderful new year and 2016 has treated you well so far. Uh, so if any of you guys follow me on Instagram, then you will see that I've continued on doing all of the lip art since the lip swatch challenge occurred uh, and it's been a lot of fun and I found myself a new hobby, which is pretty awesome. Um, recently I posted up a photo of my lips, obviously, some lip art, um, focusing on the idea of trypophobia, but I kind of wanted to keep it a little more subtle. Um, to not to just just because I didn't know whether or not Instagram was ready for my account to do that even though all of my creepy stuff's on there anyway but I don't know uh, in my head I just wanted to keep it subtle test the waters see where we were with that um, I've always been fascinated with the idea of trypophobia which is the fear of small holes and patterns yeah uh, so once I did that, I thought, how cool would it be to trypophobe my whole face? So that's what I'm doing for you guys today. So if you are trypophobic, please, please, no one is making you watch this video, so please don't watch it if it makes you feel uncomfortable. I've said it, there it is. Do what you want with that, and let's crack on, shall we? Yeah. So, for the time being, because I'm not really sure where this is taking me, um, for the time being, for this tutorial, I will be using a uh, sculpt gel, a bruise wheel, and some finishing powder. Potentially, on top of that, I might be using my Buenos Aires um, matte eyeshadow palette, um, which looks something like this. Uh, and it's just pretty simple. It's got two greys, a black, a red, and a cream. Uh, so you can reference that if I use it. I'm not quite sure if I will But obviously I'll let you know if I do And potentially some blood, but I'm not quite sure uh, who knows that we're we're learning together guys. It's gonna be great. All right, so Let's continue So with sculpt gel it comes in three parts if you have seen any of my other tutorials where I have used sculpt gel then you know this um, it does come in three components you have to mix all of the components together equally to create the concoction that you need for your design uh, but do make sure that when you are mixing all of these different components together that you are not cross contaminating within the pots as you will ruin every single one of these pretty little plot so be careful because it's it can be quite pricey so just keep that in mind all right let's move on So to start this design, I am taking some sculpt gel onto the top of my forehead and flattening it down to give myself a reference as to where I want the curvature of the whole design to be. You don't actually have to do this, but I just wanted somewhere for my design to begin. I'm also doing this on the side of my face as well, so that I have a reference point for me to work my way towards or away from, if that makes sense. And then from here on out, the entire design is basically just a lot of little circles created with the sculpt gel. So what I'm doing is I'm applying a small amount of sculpt gel onto my spatula and I'm then picking it up on my skin and dragging it around into a circular kind of motion to create the holes in the design. Now, you can do this a lot of different ways, uh, do whatever suits you best, but make sure, just from my experience here, that you leave your eyes last. So if you are going to be going over your eyes as well, make sure that your eyes are the last thing that you do. Otherwise you won't be able to see the rest of your design and it will make your eyelids very, very heavy and very difficult to lift back up. So just keep that one in mind. You can make the holes as big or as small as you would like them to be. I went for a mixture of both, so you can use that one as a reference. Also, just be prepared that this will take you an incredible amount of time so just keep on pushing through guys and uh, keep the dedication strong because you're gonna be here for a while so best of luck Thank you. 
If you are putting the sculpt gel over your eyelids, make sure not to look up whilst the sculpt gel is being applied and drying. Otherwise you run the risk of the sculpt gel making your eyelids stick together. So just be very careful with that one. And then once all of that is complete, treat yourself to a well-deserved nap whilst you wait for that to dry. It should only take a couple of minutes, but you deserve it. Then moving on to the paint job, I am taking the bright red colour from my bruise wheel and I'm going into every single hole that I have created in this design with that red colour. And once I've completed that, I am then going over every single one of these holes once again with a deeper red plum burgundy kind of colour to give it a little bit more depth. So enjoy the time lapse guys and I'll see you on the other side. And then this, my friends, is the finished look. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And if you want to hang around a little while longer, then hit subscribe, that big red button, and come and join the madness, because as you can tell, it gets pretty weird around here. All the products that I use today will be listed in the description bar below, and you can follow me on other social media, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Grin and Dagger. But until then, guys, have a lovely day. Enjoy. Bye.